Lamb draws the foul. The experience of uh, the number nine already showing this is 36th appearance. Oh, apologies, not his 36th, his 103rd appearance uh, for the Black Stars. If he does score tonight, he will be on 25 goals. He is already level with his brother, Andre Ayou. A surprise omission from this Ghana squad ahead of the next round of qualifiers by Otoado making his mark, putting his stamp on it. There have been some concerns about the way that he transmitted that message to Andre Ayou. Nonetheless, his uh, Black Stars outfit are making early gains with the set piece from his party looking interested. The Arsenal man does run over it though. It will be the left footer, an out curling cross. And it's uh, well dealt with by the CAR. That clearance by Asado Kondobe first. The man who plies his trade with Ayas Otoho has managed some uh, appearances in the African Champions League this last season in the Congo. And a first touch here in the midfield for Abdul Samet. Russia that uh, familiar defense with Mohamed Salisu, Alexander Jiku, Ali Dusedu and uh, Gideon Mensah will be now forming part of a back four. Played more as a wing back in the last match with Tariq Lamti on the other side. This time it's a much more traditional orthodox uh, back four. Ali Dusedu occupying the right side of that uh, back line. Here he is on the ball. 24 year old and are you looking interested they might come through here Ghana there's a pierce for a penalty and celebrations because it has been given not even three minutes on the clock and the black stars already have an opportunity to put their foot firmly on the gas and put a one next to the score line if they can dispatch the spot kick We'll have a look at it. It was Izahuko running through. And the Leicester man was tripped. The last line of defense. He certainly looks onside from that position. And he has won his team a delightful penalty as far as they're concerned. It was that man. Abdul Fatawu Izahaku, who chased down the lost cause that led to Jordan Ayu's stunning winner. And look at him chasing down, not so much a lost cause, but certainly he had the appetite for it. Now Ghana having a chance to go 1-0 up in this uh, fourth match day in Group I. A goal that would see them, as it stands, climb to the top of Group I. Thomas Party just making sure that there's no psychological interruptions here from the CAR men. Look at the pace, the acceleration that he showed just to get in the head of his man. Flori Yangao. The guilty party in that regard, the Olympic Rail de Bangui man giving away a penalty. That's the last thing you want to do here at the Baba Yara. And now looking to go on to 26 goals for the Black Stars. It's Jordan Ayu with all of his experience. The oldest man in the starting lineup for Ghana. In fact, the oldest man in the squad. Let's see if he can use all of those years. Not many. Still a youngster at 32. Jordan Ayu to put Ghana 1-0 up in this match, day four. Now goes Ayu, and it's a solid penalty into the bottom right-hand corner. Ghana one Central African Republic, no. It's that man, Jordan Ayu. Six goals in his last five games for Ghana.
and what better man to show all the composure and slot it in. He might have an uncertain future at club level. But wearing the white colours of the black stars. Oh boy, does he know where that goal is. One of those born in uh, the hexagon. He is uh, very much the heart of the good things uh, being done by Coach uh, Raul Subway in the Central African Republic base. Ghana now looking for options, they're trying to pull things up. The noise of the crowd hasn't wavered still have the faith, they still have the belief that there can be at least one goal in this. Summit tries to find Chiku, now he goes for a good one option. Turning it around, and now Kudus switches play. Gideon Mensa. that's a very decent looking ball, and it should be a goal, it is. Two goals in the match for Jordan Ayu and the quality of King on his throne. The Black Stars have their goal back and it's the danger man Jordan Ayu with his second of the night and his third in two games. But it all started from that cross-field pass. Gideon Mensa had the time and space to look up and what a curling delivery. It was begging to be planted away by Jordan Ayu's head. Kufegan tried to dive down. Kudus finding Mensa on the far side. Oh, and isn't that a peach of a delivery? Two goals apiece for Jordan Ayu, now matching those two goals by Louis Mafuta. Reaching that 26 goal mark for Ghana. And the noise, the decibel levels have just raised an inch. Suddenly the Ghanaians are in full song. What a pass that was by Sulemana going across field. Now the Wild Beasts will have to watch out that they're not tamed. Party. Black Stars looking strong here. Trying to go around the outside. It's well defended in the end. From Dogia. And uh, that's a bit of a mishap of a pass. It falls into the path of the Ghanaians. They can't get it up. Party. And a strike, and then both deflected. Oh, would you believe it? Again, two goals in just the space of a couple of seconds. The scenes at Palayana. Isahaku's shot. Thomas Partey with the derby. And just in the space the blink of an eye really Ghana is 3-2 up it's a response like no other photo out of side 
you have to ask yourself where were the defenders of the Central African Republic trying to get the ball. Party with an excellent touch and it is a cruel deflection in the end. But you have to take your shots. Coming off Tavolna's left boot. And on that, we now have our first substitution of the game. Antoine Semenyo, what an occasion for him to come on. A terrific display by the Yester. Sulimana. We can say terrific now that uh, Ghana is in the lead. Sulimana comes off, providing another impetus uh, in attack for the Ghanaians. Well, look at the change in the mood from desperation to exhilaration. It couldn't have been more than two minutes in between those goals for Ghana. Turning it on its head, exactly there, 60 minutes and 62. Here is the goal scorer of those first two goals, Jordan Ayu. Terrific watch here in Group I. Semenyo on for his 34th appearance. It's a 21st appearance rather for uh, Ghana. As those uh, two goals against Switzerland and Angola. That's very neat control and uh, wins his free kick. Well, Kudos only needed a moment to show what he could do when provided the space, possibly the CAR players getting a little bit tired. You can see that the way that the ball is moving on the pitch, it is a heavy surface now in the rain. Now, Nitz. Well, there's no chance to breathe here three goals of well, the referee asking for play to resume as soon as possible we thought the ball might go out here and it was just that save at the end possibly by Yufa Gun which allowed the offsides to not come into contention that touch oh he had to make the save that driving run by Ali Dusebu the strike by Kudus and it was Ayu with the final touch a hat-trick for Jordan Ayu